G'day guys, um, very quick video uh, regarding the Honda Jazz, Honda Fit. This is a 2011 with a regular transmission in it. Um, things to watch out for with these cars as they improved. The earlier ones had the flooding doors, which I've got videos about flaws, but um, it's, it's just like basically shock absorbers, lack of uh, maintenance of engine oil, as it is a timing chain and um, rust in there so this has been revised here again you, they all look the same but they're not but especially on the earlier ones you get a lot of rust there but still beware of rust uh, from composting leaves and stuff uh, batteries are always low on them weak um, but yeah you don't have any of that bullshit with the CVT and the paddle shifter like that's the giveaways the the paddle shifters and that uh, wear and tear on the upholstery uh, these didn't ever seem to have Honda's magical um, upholstery it's pretty good but uh, yeah like it's not it's not what it used to be it's like this wetsuit stuff uh, you get the lights the globes blowing in the dash so hers are fine um, cracked windows quite thin glass uh, yeah, and O2 sensors, stuff like that. Um, they've got the magic seats in them, and it's an amazing car. really is. I love these cars, uh, but those earlier ones are just a nightmare. Uh, yeah, shock absorbers you never really know about in Honda. Um, like, they can have a leak in them. A lot of these did at the rear. Keep an eye out for leaking rear shocks. But, uh... Uh, that they sort of seem to mask it somehow, even though it doesn't have the double uh, wishbone suspension like other Hondas did. Uh, they do still drive quite well with bad shocks, so you might not realise that straight away. Um, as you can see, you're sitting quite far back in the vehicle, so that they are quite a you know not a bad crash-worthy car, but you know it is only a small car. Um, yeah, you, you know, you're not, you know, you're not, you're not in accord. But as you can see, you're sitting quite far back. A lot of people are concerned that there's no crash safety. They're quite, they're quite crashable, I think. But um, yeah, you got a, you got a, um, a lot of visibility through here, and you don't have the sort of blind spot issues that you do in other Hondas, like the Odyssey. You get really bad blind spots in that. These are pretty good. Um, yeah, keep an eye out for airbag malfunctions, stuff like that. I've seen a few. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong. And finally, regarding the fuel consumption, okay, they stopped lying here. But, um, yeah, this car's getting 8.4. Um, that's a lot closer, but on the earlier ones, you'll see some ridiculous figures and stuff like that. The Americans had a class action, so, so they should have. Uh, against that so yeah it's high time manufacturers stop lying about fuel consumption i think they already have now but um yeah it just highlights as well how bad volkswagen really is when they actually manipulate the vehicles to lie about the co2 figures which are there so yeah 8.2 you'll never get that you'll likely get 8.4 to 10.2 Hondas up until now um, have been fuel guzzlers with the Accord Euro using 15, 14.8, the Odyssey using 14.8 to 15.7, and the uh, CRVs using from 14.7 uh, right up to, to 16 litres per 100 case. Um, so, yeah, terribly inefficient cars, which really they've gone back. Hondas sort of went backwards. Uh, there are some new models now. My ex-wife has just bought a brand new CRV, which I'll do a review on. Uh, but um, yeah, this is the jazz to buy. Do not buy the CVT. Do not, um, you know, do not get black. Do not get high kilometers. And it's got to have two keys and logbooks, maximum every 10,000 service. Uh, yeah, fantastic cars. Not much to say about the jazz, but good things. And I hope that helps.